Hello everyone, in this video I am going to explain about the single channel queue. This is a type 2 problem. If you want to see the type 1 problem, the link is provided in the description box you can see there. So the question what they are given here is, consider the grocery store with one checkout counter. The system consists of those customers in a waiting line plus the one checkout counter. If it is there, then we have to add that one. A stopping time of 60 minutes is set. That is the end time of the simulation is 60 minutes. Estimate the mean response time and the mean proportion of a customer who spent 5 or more minutes in the system. Interarrival time and the service time. It's given in the question itself. No need of calculating again the interarrival time and the service time. So interarrival time 1, 1, 6, 3. 7 and 5 service time 4 2 5 4 1 1 so inter arrival time for the first customer there there is no inter arrival time for the first customer so arrival time of the first customer is zero so we have you can see here we have a solution how to find the solution for this is solution the customer one inter arrival time for the first customer we should not give any value here inter arrival time why because the first customer is going to arrive at the zeroth minute so there, is, there won't be an inter arrival time here because he is the first customer itself for the second customer inter arrival time they are given it is one so arrival time is 1 that is 0 plus 1 you can add you will get 1 the customer 3 inter arrival time also they are given it is 1 1 plus 1 it is 2 either you can add this 1 and 1 here you will get 2 itself again the fourth in customer inter arrival time they are given 1 plus 1 plus 6 that is 8 or else you can add 2 plus 6 also 2 plus 6 you will get 8 5 fifth customer it is 3 plus 6 plus 1 plus 1 that is 3 plus 6 9 9 plus 1 10 and 11 or else 8 plus 3 also it's 11 again 11 plus 7 that is 18 again 18 plus 5 it is 23 so the next is the departure time we have to write a departure time the first customer arrival time is 0 the service time is 4 he served for 4 minutes so after as work after a service he is going to departure so the departure time is 4 year. so the next customer is going to arrive at the first minute but the customer one is going to departure at the fourth minute so the second customer he can start his work at fourth minute itself he can't start its work at first minute why because at the first minute the first customer service is going on so he started his work at fourth minute and the customer 2 service time is 2. So 4 plus 2 it is 6. Again the third customer is arrived at the second minute. But the second customer is going to departure at 6th minute. So he has to wait until the second customer finishes its work. So after the second customer finishes his work he is going to start its service. His service time is 5 minutes. 6 plus 5 it is 11. So again the fourth customer is going to arrive at the eighth minute but the departure of the third customer is 11th minute so the fourth customer he can start his work at 11th minute itself so 11 plus 4 is service time is 4 so 11 plus 4 it is 15 again 15 plus 1 it is 16 so here you can see the difference the fifth customer is going to finish his work at 16th minute he is going to departure at 16th minute so the customer number 6 is going to arrive at 18th minute so at the 18th minute he can start a service so at the 18th minute this customer 6 is started as service so 18 plus is service time we have to add that is 18 plus 5 it is 23 after that 7 customer is going to arrive at 23 minutes so the service time only the 6 values they are given these are the 6 values they are given 7th value they are not given so we are not going to do the departure event of the 7th customer so we are going to stop the event here itself next is the simulation table for this we have to simulate before that we must know the sum of the cumulative statistics what is b what is mq what is s n d and f what is b the total server busy time and the mq is nothing but the maximum q length and S is total time spent by the customer in a system. N is nothing but total number of departure. F is the 
total number of customer who spent five or more minutes. It's given in the question itself. So now we have to start the simulation. So here we have to start the simulation table. The clock time, how to decide the clock time is arrival time and the departure time. So these two write it in an ascending order. The first arrival time is 0, 1, 2, 4, 6, 8. After that 11 in the both departure and arrival event, 11 is there, 11, 15, 16, 18 and 23. So this is what we have to arrange it in an ascending order, the clock time. So it is 0 and next is 1, the next value is 2, the next value is 4, next value is 6, 8 and the next value it is 11 and the next value it is 15. Next value is 15. After 15 we are going to get a value it is 16 and the next departure event is 18 and next is 23. So now we entered the clock time. After entering the clock time write down the type which type it is. 0 is nothing but it's an arrival. 1 it's an arrival. 2 it is an arrival. 4 is nothing but it is a departure event. It's a departure event. And again 6 it is in a departure, 8 it is arrival, again 11 it is departure and arrival. First it is departure and then arrival event. The next 15 it is a departure type, it is in a departure type. And the next value here 16 it is in departure, 18 it is an arrival event and 23 it is departure and arrival both it is there. So after writing this much. The next we will come to the simulation table. At the clock time 0, at the clock time 0, the customer 1 is going to arrive. At the clock time 0, arrival of the first customer is going to happen. So C1 is nothing but the customer 1. Again, FEL is nothing but future event list. What is the future event which is going to occur in the simulation? So the future event list is nothing but arrival of the first next customer that is at was first clock time 1 and arrival of the next customer that is customer number 3 at the clock time 2 that future event we have to write arrival 2 next 2 events is arrival event itself that is arrival of second customer and arrival of the third customer at clock time 1 at clock time 1 at clock time the customer 3 is going to arrive at the clock time 2 we are going to write Two future event list. What are the two future event list? That is two arrivals. That is the customer 2 and customer 3. At what time they are arriving? At the 1 minute and at the second minute. This is the future event list. This is E is nothing but end of the simulation at 60th minutes. It's given in the question. So the cumulative statistics all are all the cumulative statistics at the clock time 0 it is 0 itself. So we are going to enter it as 0. Now at the clock time 1, what happens at the clock time 1? The customer 1 is arrived, but still, customer, sorry, customer 2 is arrived, but the customer 1 is still not departure. So, customer 1 is there still in the checkout counter. He is arrived at the 0th minute. Now, customer 2 is arrived. Customer 2 is arrived at the clock time 1. At the clock time 1, the customer, both are Two customers are there at the checkout line. Where customer 1 is there at the server. So, he is there at the server. How many members are there at the server? So, 1 is, is there at the server. And LQ of T, it's a Q. So, the customer 2 is there at the Q. So, we have to enter. One customer is there at the Q. So, the next future event list. The second customer is arrived at the clock time 1. The third customer is going to arrive and the departure next event is arrival of the third customer and departure of the first customer. So arrival of the third customer and we have to enter the departure of the first customer at fourth minute. This is the next clock time. You can see here the next two clock times we are writing here. That is arrival and departure even. A2 and D4. You can see that A2 and D4 we are written that is the future event list.
Now let us see the cumulative statistics for the clock time 1. At the clock time 1, the B is nothing but total server busy time. How many times, how much time the server is busy? So from 0 to the clock time 1, A is giving a service to the customers 1. So A is busy for 1 minute. MQ is nothing but the maximum Q length. What is the maximum Q length here? It is 1. 1 customer is there at the queue. So the maximum Q length is 1 itself. And S is nothing but the total spend, time spent by the customer in a system. Still one customer is not departure. The customer number one is not departed. So we are we can't able to write the total time spent by any of the customers. So it is zero. End is nothing but the total number of customers who spent five or more minutes. The clock time itself one five or more minutes we can't able to write. So it is zero itself. F is nothing but the total number of departures. Say still departure event is there at the clock four. We are not arrived for any of the customer departure. So here number of customer dispatched it is zero itself next is the customer who is going to arrive next the checkout line what happens at the checkout line at the clock two at the clock two the still customer one and customer two is given a service these two members are there at the checkout line so at the clock two at the clock two the customer three is going to arrive the customer number three is arrived here so customer three is arrived at what time he is going to arrive at clock two so he is arrived at the his arrival time is 2. So now we have to see who is getting a service. Customer 1 is getting a service. Num how many number of customers getting a service? That is 1 itself. How many number of customers are there in the queue? 2 members are there in the queue. So we have to write it is 2 members. Now the future event list. Future event list is 2 departures. 2 departures at clock 4 and at clock 6. So departure event of the future event list is departure at 4th minute. This is the future event list. Departure at 4th minute and departure at 6th minute. So these are the future event list. Who is going to departure at 4th minute? The customer 1. Customer is 1 is going to departure at 4th minute. Customer 6. 2 is going to departure at the clock 6 minutes. So now let us see the cumulative statistics. Busy time of the server. From 0th minute to 2 minute clock time 2 the server is busy. A server is busy for 2 minutes. MQ maximum Q length. What is the maximum Q length? That is 2. We have a 2 here. Total time spent by the customer in a system. So none of the Customer is departure still. So total time spent by the customer we can't calculate. ND, total number of departures. None of the customer is departed at the clock too. So we can't calculate. If total number of customers who spent 5 or more minutes, that also we can't calculate. Why? Because the clock time itself is 2. Now we can't calculate the number of customers who spent 5 or more minutes. Now let us see the departure at fourth minute who is going to departure at the fourth minute the customer one now who is there at the checkout counter checkout line only the customer two and the customer three will be there at the checkout line so customer three and customer two are there at the checkout line the customer one is departure so who is getting a service customer two is going to get a service here and who will be there in the queue customer three will be there in the queue so the future event list is departure event and the arrival event. So departure of the next customer at the clock time 6 and the arrival of the next customer, arrival of the next customer at the clock time 8, at the clock time 8. These are the future event list what we have here. So now calculate the cumulative statistics. Total number of busy time of the server. Server busy time, it is from 0 to 4th minute the server is busy. So, we are going to write it as 4. 
m q maximum q length this is one is the q length but the maximum is two so previous value itself we have to retain the maximum value now the cumulative statistic total time spent by customer in a system the first customer is departed how many minutes e spent in a system that is four minutes is spent in a system so we are going to write the total time spent by a customer in a system so nd total number of customer who spent sorry total number of departures how many customer departure only the first customer is departure f is nothing but the total number of customer who spend five or more minutes none of the customer who spend five or more minutes now next event is the next customer is going to departure who is going to departure the customer two is going to departure so the customer three will be there at the checkout line the customer three he has arrived at the clock time 2. So, who is getting a service here? The customer 3 is getting a service. So, no one is there in the queue. Next, the future event list is arrival and departure and arrival. Again, arrival. So, we can write any of these two. The future event list is arrival, arrival of the next customer at 8th minute. Again, Departure of the next customer at the 11th minute. Again, arrival at next customer at the 11th minute. So, these are the future event list. Now, we will, later we will calculate the cumulative statistics for the remaining thing. First, we will finish it of system state and the checkout line and FEL. So, now let us see who has arrived here. At the 8th minute, the next customer is going to arrive. But the customer 3 is not still finished his work. So, customer 4 is arrived. Customer 4 is arrived. But still, customer 3 is getting a service. So, at the checkout line, customer 3 will be there. Along with this customer 3, we have a customer 4. He is arrived at 8th minute. Now, who is getting a service here? The customer 3 is getting a service and customer 4 will be there in a queue. Now, the next future event list is we have a two future event list that is departure of the next customer and arrival of the next customer. So, at the 11th minute, so you can add these two in the future event list. Next, at the 11th minute, what happens at the 11th minute? One departure. Who is going to departure at the 11th minute? The customer number 3 is going to departure and customer 5 is going to arrive. So, customer 3 is departured. So, customer 3 is departure. Who is there at the checkout line? That is C4. Customer 4 is he will be there in the checkout line itself. And at the 11th minute, C5 is arrived because arrival also happening here. The fifth customer, see you can see here arrival of the fifth customer. Arrival of the fifth customer is here. So, C4 is getting a service and C5 will be there in the queue. So, the next future event list is two departures. That is at D15 and D16, two future event list. You can write here D, D15 and at D16. These are the two departures in the future event list. Then now at this 15th minute, what happens at the 15th minute? The customer 4 is going to departure. The customer 4 at the 15th minute, at the 15th minute, the customer 4 is going to departure here. So, the customer 4 is departure, then we left with the customer 5. He will be there at the checkout line. He will be there at the checkout line. That is C5 at he is arrived at 11th minute. So, who is getting a service here? C5 is getting a service. No one will be there at the queue. 
the next future event list is departure of the next customer at the 16th minute at 16th minute and arrival of the next customer at arrival of the next customer at 18th minute these two are the future event list you can see here at the 16th minute what happened at the 16th minute c5 is going to departure so if c5 is departure next arrival is there at 18th minute so we can't able to write the next customer arrived at the checkout line so no one will be there at the checkout line and at the system also no one will be there and i'll queue also in the queue also no one will be there why because the next arrival is there at the 18th minute so none of the customer is going to arrive here c5 is going to departure at the 16th minute so the next future event list here is arrival of the next customer arrival at 18th minute and next is departure at 23rd minute these are two or the future event list again you can write that arrival of 23 but we are not going to write arrival at 23 because we are not going to calculate the departure of that customer so we are going to stop here it's a departure at 23 who is arrived at the 18th minute c6 customer so customer number 6 is arrived at 18th minute so he is getting a service so ls of t is going to 1 no one will be there at the queue it is 0 so the next future event list is departure of the customer 6 departure at 23 departure at 23rd minute what is happening here future event list departure so here also you can see that departure and arrival of the next customer two future event list arrival of the next customer so here arrival of the customer 7 arrival of the customer 7 at 23rd minute and departure of customer 6 at 23rd minute so who is the getting a service customer number 7 is getting a service and zero it will be there here so now let us see the cumulative statistics how we are going to calculate the cumulative statistics for these values so now busy time busy time from 0 to 4th minute it is busy customer 0 to 6th minute it is busy so clock time is 6 again here the clock time it will become 8 again the clock time is 11 here from 0 to 15th minute is getting a service so it will be there 15 again 0 to 16th minute is getting a service so it will be there at the 16th at the 16th minute what happens at the 16th minute he is empty the customer is empty till 18th minute so the whatever the clock time is there we can't able to write that clock time here so we have to carry the same previous clock time even though the clock time is 80 till 16th minute only the server is busy from 16th to 18th minute it is idle none of the customer is getting service so we have to write here it is the busy time of the server it is 16 itself even though the clock time is 18 but we are getting a service only till 16 from 16th to 2 18th minute 2 minutes it is idle so the next from 18 to 23 18 to 23 it is 5 minutes so we have to add 5 minutes that is 2 minutes it is idle here so the minus 2 we will get so 18 plus 5 that is 23 minus 18 it is 5 is there so 16 plus 5 it is nothing but it is 21 so here be careful why we are going to take it as 16 itself the busy time of the server is 16 itself means from 16th to 18th minute the server is idle none of the customer is getting a service so at the 18th minute from 0 to 16th minute itself the server is busy after 18th minute how many minutes the server is busy that is 18 to 23 that is 20 
3 to 18. That is 23 minus 18 is 5. So we are going to add that is 16 plus 5. That is 21. This is the busy time. So next is the MQ, the maximum Q length. What is the maximum Q length? Here you can see that the Q length is 2. The maximum Q length you can retain it is 2 itself for all the values. Even though it is 0, 1, 1, 1 is there, the maximum Q length is the server total time spent by the customer in a system. The next is the cumulative statistic is S that is total time spent by a customer in a system. So for here we have to write only at the departure event wherever the departure event is there at that time we have to like write the cumulative statistics. The first customer is departure at the clock time 4. So you can see here he is departure at the fourth minute. He is arrived at the 0th minute. So he is spending a time in a system from 0 to 4 minutes. So we are going to write it as 4 itself. Again the departure event is there. We have to write the cumulative statistic for the second customer. He is departed at the 6th minute and he is arrived at the time 1. So 6 minus 1 is 5 minutes. He is spending total time in a system is 5 minutes. So 4 plus 5 it is 9. Previous time is 4. Again, the second customer time spent in a system is 5. 4 plus 5 is 9. Next event is arrival event. No need of writing it. Same as it is, you can continue. So, the next is departure event of the third customer. Departure event of the third customer is departure at the 11th minute and he is arrived at at the clock time 2. So 11 minus 2 it is 9. Na total 9 minutes is spent in the system. So the third departure, third customer total time spent in a system is 9. Its previous time is 9. 9 plus 9 it is 18. 18 minutes. Again the departure event is there here. So the next customer that is 15 minus 8. The 15 minus 8 is 7. Total the 7 value you have to 8 add here so 18 plus 7 it is 25 together the next departure event the next departure is the next customer departure we will get the value it is 30 that is 5 minutes total 5 minutes is spent in a system that is the departure of the next customer that is the fifth customer is 16 16 minus 11 it is 5 so we are I have to add that 5 minutes over here so next arrival event is there no need of writing it so again the departure event is there the last customer departure he is departed at 23rd minute he is departed at 23rd minute he is arrived at 18th minute so the 5 minutes is there. So again 30 plus 5 it is 35. Total the total time spent by a customer in a system at is 35. This is the cumulative statistics. ND total number of departures. The first customer departed here. Again the second number of customer departed here. Here it is 2. Next year arrival event is happening. So arrival event is happening. No need of writing it. Again it is 2 itself. Again the departure event. Uh, the third customer is departure here. Again here the fourth customer is departure. Again here the fifth customer is departure. Here arrival event is happening right as it is. The sixth customer is departure here. F. Total F is nothing but total number of customer who spent 5 or more minutes. The departure event. Wherever the departure event is there that you can see. The second customer is departure event. The first customer is departure here. He spent a total time in a system is 4 itself. So 0, 4 minus 0 it is 4 itself. So we are going to get, we are not going to count that customer. Again the second customer departure here. How many minutes is spent in a system? That is 6 minus 1. The 5 minutes is spent in a system. So we have to take the second customer as a 1 count. Okay. Again, here arrival event is happening. No need of doing any calculation here. The third customer departure here. Third customer, how many minutes is spent in a system? 11 minus 2. 11 minus 2 is nothing but it's a 9 value. 9 is nothing but it is 5 or more minutes itself. So we are going to count that he is the second person. Again, the third customer, how many minutes is spent in a system? That is 15 minus 8. That is total 7 minutes is spent in a system. That the value is also more than 5. So we are going to count that person. Again, the next departure, 
of the next customer that is the next customer departure is 16 minus 11 that is 15 minus 8 16 minus 11 that is the value is 5 so we have to count that value the fifth customer value we have to count it the next arrival event is there no need of calculating the value again here the type is departure type departure type of the six customer we have a value for six customer is 23 23 minus 18 it is 5 more than that is total time customer who spent 5 or more minutes we have to count that person also so the five customers total Five customer who spent it five or more minutes in a system. So this is how we are going to calculate the single channel Q. This is the type two problem. Thank you everyone for watching the video. Subscribe to the channel to watch more videos related to system modeling and simulation.